Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel. And today we are going to be looking at the Otum 2 Dimension, the Land of Sands. And I'm going to be running you through the overall what the mod is about, some of the armors, weapons, mobs and some of the structures that are generated within this world. Now, before we get into that guys, make sure to like and subscribe on this video, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff, because you know you don't want to miss out on anything this channel has to offer, such as mainly mob battles, you love them, you need them, you always want them. And uh, yeah, someone named my horse, I said like last mod showcase or something, name my horse, and someone said Hannah, so uh, we're sticking with Hannah. I like it. Hannah the horse. It kind of rolls off the tongue. It's not too generic. I like it. So this is my horse, Hannah. So Hannah, today we are going to be traveling to another dimension. Let's do it. So to build the portal to the new dimension it is done just like this. So just take like a quick screenshot or whatever, pause the video, made just like this. And to get there, you are going to need boom the scarab. And to craft the scarab, you can do that in a few different ways. Uh, there we go. So, you can either do it with using a crunchy scarab, which I'm pretty sure you can only actually find in that dimension. So, the way to get there is going to be this one primarily. You're just going to need three gold ingots and a diamond. Not too much, not too much trouble indeed. Alright, let's do it. And then, supposedly, all you got to do is throw this bad boy in here and it's gonna create a beautiful little portal to the new dimension and boom just like that we have our beautiful portal so we get rid of that uh yes it is lovely it is orange and it is yeah just sick looking portal so just maybe a brief maybe i'll give an explanation five by five pretty much uh down here you're gonna need two by two pillars and you're obviously gonna need uh, sandstone to fill up the bottom layer so yeah, you can find lots of bits about this online, but yeah, just take screenshots, rewind the video so you can take a look at how the portal was made. So now, goodbye Hannah, we're going to the Atum dimension, because it's a sick looking dimension. Alright, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Already very, very deserty, but it is a sick looking dimension with some sick looking trees. It looks like it's got the dynamic tree pack on. So, oh, hello, hello, good sir, what are you, you're a nomad, and you're a sergeant of the nomads, so we will be looking at those in a minute, but let me get out the armors for you guys. So, here we have the different armor suits for this mod, up this end you've got your OP stuff, you're going to get a lot later down the line from defeating some of the mob bosses throughout this mod, but down here we have the far more attainable suits of armor. Now, the easiest one to get is going to be this mummy suit right here. You are only going to need bits of cloth, which are fairly easy to get around the world, guys. Um, you can get them from the mummified fish, which you can, well, you can use your fishing rods to get them out of the waters around here when you find it an oasis. Uh, they can also be crafted by other means as well, but fairly simple, guys. Same crafting recipes as per the use with leggings, chest plates, helmets, boots you know the drill. Next up, we have the Wanderer helmet. Now, this is going to be the next strongest suit of armor to craft from this mod, uh, and that is going to be made from bolt of linen cloth. And that is going to be done like this linen thread. Then you're going to get three cloth scraps, you're going to put them in the spinning wheel and then they're going to come out with linen thread so as you can see there is a few more steps to it rather than just the mummy suit which is just cloth scrap so this one definitely definitely worth going for because once you've crafted this suit of armor guys you can use that to craft more or more op armor if you've got a spare iron helmet like this or just a iron helmet and want to make it a bit stronger you put these two together in a craft table and it will come out with the desert helmet iron helmet uh, that is done with the same process all the way through to diamond. So by the time you get to this dimension, it's going to be more than likely you are going to have diamond armor. So you're going to want to put these together and it is going to give you a stronger suit. And at the moment, we have some nomads roaming around me. Now, as I was saying, there are some more OP suits of armor that you can obtain in this mod, guys. 
Uh, all the crafting recipes are shown on their wiki. Typically, they're not being shown here. Uh, and if you shift, it will tell you what this does for you. It is a very good bit of armor, guys. It is worth the find and it is worth the battle for it but to battle the mobs needed to get the pieces you're going to need this suit of armor first to be honest so focus on getting this suit and then going for these guys now each of these there you have the autumn and then you have the raw suit so the good the bad and each of them they have their different swords fishing <laughs> fishing rods uh hoes axes pickaxes they have it all bows all the stuff guys this mod is great for adding that in you don't really see many mods that add like a hoe or like a modded fishing rod it's pretty good it's pretty sick i like it i like it a lot uh, you also get armor for your camels and your wolves so you got some wolf armor here and you've got some camel armor so if you're riding your camel into battle suit it up with some gold guys you know you want to do that so you've got to find these around the world these aren't craftable uh, so just search for them in the tombs and the different structures that you will come across you are able to harvest the camels for food uh, There are other food sources around the world such as the new fishies uh, You get dates as well and various other desert uh, food sources um, You're able to obviously take pellets from the wolves as well I uh, don't really want to come across a tarantula, but hey ho if you do you get some mandibles all right, so that pretty much covers all that. The weapons crafted fairly similarly, so just like this, it's pretty, it's pretty much going to be like this, finding these around the world, guys. So just go keep your eyes out for them. Uh, there is also a lot of jewellery you can find around the world, and there are idols, and all these add to boosting up your strength. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is going to be how you're making some of these. Uh, so make the stone guard sword just like that. I feel like that pretty much covers all that basics So I'm gonna go for the evil suit. So that is the suit I'm gonna be getting out and wearing so let's put this bad boy on it is looking sick It is looking awesome, and I'm gonna get out. I think the bow and Do I want to get out the sword as well? What am I fancying? Let's go for the axe. Let's go for this. This looks cool. So, the, as I was saying earlier, you find a lot of these roaming around the world. Uh, not tradable. You can't trade with them. And they will attack you. Yes, if you're obviously not in creative like myself right now. So, let's go find one of these structures. So, the first structure we have up today is a uh, pyramid. I don't know why I forgot the name of it for a second. But you find one of these bad boys around the world. So take a quick look at it you can break through but they're quite extensive so you can find entrances around this place to get into them uh, I can't see the one for this one but you will find them but I'm just gonna break into it today like a cheater so there we go boom so in here you will have some spawners and then you'll have the guards for them so here we go beautiful beautiful mummies roaming around here uh, got your little Pharaoh that's gonna be chilling grilling in here. So if we take a look around so some torches going around the place It's quite nice. It's quite secure uh, Right some chests here. So let's see what they've got for us. Nothing major, but we've got the cloth scraps in here All right, anything anything big up here. Oh cool some desert boots as well So not too shabby with the loot. Oh, there's a there's a oh, we can go down. All right Let's go into the crypts. Let's go into the crypts of this place all right, so it's, it's a flipping maze. It's a flipping maze. All right, loving it. All right, come on. No. Nope. So, I mean, I feel like this is going to be the entrance to this place. So you're going to have to battle the maze and then get your way up into it. All right, let's try this direction. Hello. Okay, booby traps, guys, by the way. Booby traps. These are all booby traps. So, yeah, watch out for them. All booby traps. You, you're going to die. You're going to die. Yes, yeah, can fire. Uh, yeah, be very very careful and I'm already super duper lost. All right, come on head there. Whoa, whoa a Forsaken one of the mobs in this mod. All right, so let's go down here. All right boom Okay, so we are now in a big passageway So we're gonna avoid all of these things 
All uh, right, let's go over here. Let's go over here. No, nope, we are blocked in. We're locked in here for life. Everybody flee. So yeah, this is a pretty sick structure, guys. It's going to be a good one to battle through. Hello, deserty spider. That's a tarantula. Yes, lovely. Do not like them at all. All right, so we've explored this one, guys. You get the gist of it. Pretty sick for exploring. It is good to take the gander out. As you can see, they're quite expansive throughout the ground. All right, so let's go see if we can locate another one of these structures. Oh, wait, if I go over here, I think I can see um, one of the biomes. So we can just do that. So this is going to be one of the forests. This is classed as its forest biome. And perfect, we have come across another one of the generated structures in the world. All right ruined it i don't know what achievement that is but hey ho there you go all right what do we get in here feathers strange sand love it uh what else in that one gold and then the limestone shovel perfect that's what i've always wanted i've always dreamt of my own limestone shovel look at that that is a sick animation i like that i like that a lot all right okay let's go over here let's see what else we can locate around this lovely area so you will also find these lovely oasis around the place. Oasis is, it's an oasis. Uh, almost said oasis. All right, so yeah, you'll find a lot of, well, not a lot, very few actually of these around the place. Yet again, surrounded by these guys. Oh, this is, is this a new dude? A barbarian, no! Yeah, so just watch out for these places. Deadly, deadly places surrounded by, but lovely for some fresh water. They are called the Oasis's, the Oasis of Hope. Oasis, why would you say Oasis is? It's not even a word. But there we go. So I couldn't find the tower, sadly. So we are just going to go out and get the mobs from this mod out. So we go through and grab a load of these. Uh, let's go for this, this, this. So we'll just power through some of these because there is a lot of them, guys. So we have an assassin here. We have a Warlord, so one of the mini mob bosses of this mod. Uh, we have a Barbarian, and we have a Bone Storm. Nice! Not terrifying reskin blazes at all! Alright, another Brigid. So we've seen a few of those already. We've got a beautiful Camel. I do love me a Camel. Um, what else we got here? We've got my Wolves. Loving a bit of life, a bit of Desert Wolves. We've got a Forsaken, we've come across those already, and then we have also come across the Mummy already. Yet again, burns in sunlight like a zombie, because mummies like their tombs, and they do not like to come above their tombs. Don't blame them. Is that a Bubba Camel? That is adorable, I love it. Alright, so, let's go for it. Alright, so, then we have a Nomad, Booyah, and then here we go. We got Pharaoh. We got a Pharaoh up in here. One of the main mob bosses of this mod. As you can see, nobody really likes him. Uh, you flipping heck, he's being swarmed. But he's smashing a rabbit. You can ignore the rabbits. The sergeant. Uh, we have a stone guard. Is he going to go protect the Pharaoh? Maybe. And then we have a stone warden. Yet again, you will find these in the. Um, Pyramids, almost forgetting the names. And then here we go, we've got Sun Speaker, which is just like a guardian, like a helper for the pharaohs. And then we've got some trenches, and we've got one last mob to take a gander at, which is going to be the Wraith. So let's take a quick look at him. Not too powerful, but all found underground. And I've got to say, that pharaoh was a bit mad OP, considering how many mobs were attacking him. Love it. But yes, you will find the pharaoh in his tombs. Sadly, we have not come across that structure today. They are quite rare. Um, not common in the slightest. But yeah, I might do a little just fly around over here. Maybe. Maybe we'll see. But you're going to want to take the pharaoh out to get the stuff to craft the suits of armor. You're going to need it. Well, you'll find lots of these around the world as well, guys. Loads. I found, I've gone through loads of them. And the pyramids are fairly abundant as well. You're not going to run out of pyramids to raid, I will tell you that. Alright, uh, okay, another little oasis. Okay, have we? Nope, just, just a very weird looking structure. Alright, so there's some water sources over there. As I said, there we go, boom, another one. There is freaking loads of them around the world. 
Uh, yeah, I've been, whoa, that looks like a generated structure here. Whoa, let me go back, let me go back here. here. Yeah, is this, is this something down here or am I going loco bonanzas? I might be going loco. All uh, right, no, nothing, nothing here at all. I have been flying around for absolutely ages, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. But this is a sick mod to add into your world if you want another dimension to explore. I don't feel like this mod is very talked about, but it does add a lot to the world and a lot to your Minecraft uh, playthrough. So it is definitely, definitely worth the download, guys. Just for the exciting mobs it does add in. And of course, you're going to want your pet wolves. You're going to want to put some wolf armor on them as well. And maybe have an army of camels. I don't know. Let your imagination run wild. We are coming up to another weird forest. So yet again, you'll get bigger structures like this one as well. But that is, you know, that's the main ones you're going to really be coming across. And they all have mobs in them. So watch out for that, guys. Don't be trapped and, you know, bamboozled by it. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's brief look at the Atum 2 Sands of Time, whatever it's called. Mod, it's not called Sands of Time, it's Prince of Persia. It is called Sands of something I can't remember off the top of my head now, which is super duper unprofessional of me, but I do apologise. If you did enjoy today's mod showcase, guys, please make sure to slap that lap button. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for coming along and watching. Until next time, see ya.